Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We all can rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for this day. Amen. We honor the Lord for life, help, and strength. Uh, we thank God for our Zion Bishop, the whole of our Church of God Bishop, Freeman Monson. We're here at Clinton Chapel, whole of our Church of God, to let all the members know that we still have the service in the body of Christ. We do honor uh, our bishops and the staff and all our national officials. This day that we know that we're living in some troubled times, but God is still in charge. We come and bring you a word from the Lord to encourage you on this day, to let you know, amen, to let you know, keep the faith in the time of fear. For God, he is real and he is on our side. We thank God for this day. We thank God for the whole of our church of God having this service. And you that hear us on this morning, we pray that the word of God will come, be a blessing to you in your heart. Amen. Before we bring the word of God this morning, we're going to have prayer. Amen. That God will touch everyone that listen to me and that the word of God will come in their heart and be a blessing and to encourage their spirit. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we stand for you and your presence, for all the people that God that hear me on this day, God, send your word, God, that may encourage the people of God. Let them know, God, we come together in the spirit of unity. We might not be in the same place, but we in the spirit of unity in the body of Christ. God bless this word. Let the word go out and accomplish in the name of Jesus. Let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be settled in that sight. O oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer. Everybody say praise the Lord. Amen. I might not hear you, but you still can say praise the Lord. Amen. We want to bring a word to encourage you on this morning. We thank God for this day, and what a beautiful day to hear the word of God. Amen. We pray that the word of God be a blessing to your heart. Amen. We come and have a good time in the name of the Lord. We live with the name of the Lord. For this day is a great day. We read in the first book of Psalms. Got your Bible. You can read along with me, and, and we want to read this with clarity and understanding that you may be a blessing to the word of God. Amen. Amen. I can say amen to myself. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. For Psalms 91. Amen. For Psalms 91. He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High of the mighty God. I will say to the Lord. He is my restroom. My God in him without trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noisy of the pedestal. He shall cover thee with his feather and under his wing thou shalt trust. His trust shall be thy shield and thy buckle. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pedestal that walk in darkness, nor the discretion that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy sight, ten thousand at the right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thy eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because he that made the Lord, which is our refuge, even in the habitation. God is He's a wonderful God. And we thank God for the words on this morning. I want to leave the thought with you to encourage you, to let you know, just keep the faith. And I want to move this stop amen, on this morning. Look at your faith. Look at your faith. We know a lot of things is going around and a lot of churches is not having service due to the virus. But nevertheless, God still is in charge. Look at your faith. You ought to know where you're at in God by this time. 
We know that all things can work together for the good for them that love the Lord. We need to keep faith over fear. Fear comes from the devil. The Lord said he had not given us a spirit of fear, but love and power of a sound mind. Look at your faith. God had given all of us a measure of faith. And I refuse to live in fear. The word of God said, he that died in the shadow of the man of all gods, he shall protect us under his wing. The Lord going to take care of us. I'm reminded when Moses was leaving the children of Israel out of Egypt in the wilderness and they were dying. They were dying. But Moses told them, look at the brass serpent. If you get a snake back, just look at the serpent and you shall live. The scripture said, and Moses lived up the grass seven in the wilderness. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, up for the earth, I draw all men unto me. Look at your faith. No way you stand with your faith in God. Amen. Uh, he not give us a spirit of fear. We know some people scared to leave, leave the house and but they don't want to go nowhere. But you are covered by the blood of the Lord. He shall cover thee with his feather. You know, like a, a, a hand that's covered in business. I mean, we are covered. He shall hide us in his provision. He's going to take care of us and during the time of trouble. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Refuge. What refuge mean? It means what? If there is a hiding place, fortune means a place of protection. God is the truth. He is, we, we have a faith for God. Look at your faith. A trust is a place of security. We have security in God. Amen. So we got faith over fear. Deliver us from the snare of the fowl. He gonna deliver us from the noise of the palace. He gonna cover us with his feather, protect us under his wing. We are protected by the power of God. Somebody say Hallelujah, Amen. I can say it by myself if I have to. Amen. Make He will make you a trooper for your shield and buckle. He gonna take care of us. We got a hiding place in the Lord. So let's don't be weary and wear the we should weep if we faint not. Look at your faith. If God did it before, he'll do it again. There's many things that be happening in our life, and I said like our life was in a turmoil. But faith brought us out. The word of God said, the just shall live by faith. You find that in Romans 1. In 17. Amen. We are living by faith. Amen. It's not what you see, but what you don't see. Amen. Faith is what you don't see. Now, we don't see what we call this virus in the atmosphere. But the Spirit of God will cover us when we leave our home. Amen. We don't see that, but it covered us. Under the mind of the shadow of the Almighty God. Look at your faith. Now, according to your faith, so let it be. Don't doubt God. Don't live in fear. We thank God for this service, uh, this morning's uh, word of God. We know that some churches is not uh, open this morning, but we're here to encourage the saints. Amen. We believe in obeying the law of the land. But we want you to be vigilant, but still don't lose your faith. Yeah, you call you covered on the blood. Amen, amen, and we got don't be weary in well doing. You should read and you faint now. Look at your faith. Amen. Praise to be the name of the Lord. Let's go to the book of Psalms, the 27th Psalms. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm trying to be nice and want to get too happy. Amen. Because the word of God is good all by itself. Amen. Amen. Trying to be modest. 
But praise the Lord. We want to let you know, amen, look at your faith. Amen, amen, amen. Keep faith over fear. Amen, 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 amen. For the Lord is on our side. What song say? Amen. Uh, he shall hide me in his provision. And in the singing of the tabernacle shall he hide me. God going to take care of his own. But we got to keep the faith. Don't let fear let our faith crumble in the Lord. And when we talk about keeping the faith, amen, we got to don't be shaken. We got to know that if God did it before, he'll, he'll do it again. If he brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, he's going to bring us out of this snail of the end of it. Look at your faith. It's time to know where you stand in God. Amen. For God, the truth is on our side. Amen. Let's go to Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter. And we want to encourage because a lot of people is weary. They, they in anxiety. They kind of concern. Uh, what are we going to do now? Uh, but I'm here to tell you, God, we, we serve no man God. God is on our side. For the God we serve, he able to deliver us out of our hand. Paul said in the second uh, Corinthians 4 and 8, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed. Some of them got perplexed, but not in this path. Let you know there's hope in Christ. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not reversed. For our light affliction is just for the moment. For work with in us more than seated than turn away the glory. This thing going to pass. Look at your faith. Just keep looking to God who the author and the finish of our faith. Amen. God going to take us through. And we got to keep the joy, keep the peace, keep the love, and pray for one another. But keep your faith strong by reading the word, seeking the face of God, knowing that God brought you out before he will bring you out again. Amen. There's nothing too hard for God. Amen. Look at your faith. Don't worry about nobody else's faith, but look at your faith, knowing that God will take you through. Now, we know we can't see what we call this vibe, but God, he's an unseen God. He knows everything. He sees everything. But the blood of Jesus will cover us all through this time. He will look out for his own. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to Romans, the 8th chapter, and the 28th verse. Amen. Got your Bible. Let's go there. Amen. We want to bring this out. Amen. To let you know that God, he's still God. Amen. Regardless of what the enemy may do or say, he's still God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 8 and 34. Who is he that condemned? Is him, is his Christ that died? Yea, rather that he is risen again, who is even on the right hand of God, who make an intercession for us. Jesus is interceding for us right now. Those this plague, what we call whatever might be, is yet interceding for us. Paul said, who? shall separate us for the love of Christ. Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, or famine, naked, or pearl, or soul. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the soul. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquered to him that love us. Look at your faith. Amen. Everything can look doubtful, but look at your faith. What Paul said, I am a persuaded. Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor power, nor thing present, nor thing to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able 
to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our God. Look at your faith. Keep faith over fear. Don't let nothing shake your faith in God. Now, we know we are living in the trouble time. Where did God say, perish time shall come? And hold on to our faith. Then chapter 1 would declare and tell us that those who are in Christ are more than a conqueror. Those which are in with God should not fear anything else of the world because God is greater than all things. Who had gave his only son in order to save us all, human and surely to give us to accept Christ the great things. Jesus died for us all. He concerned by your concern. Don't let fear cause you to lose your protection with God. Look at your faith. Hold on. Say to you, all the preachers and all the pastors, all the members of the whole of our church of God. Look at your faith. The thing that we went through before and God took us through. It may look critical, but it's not hopeless. Look at your faith. Your faith took you this far. It's going to take us even farther. God is on our side. The word of God declared, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. It didn't say it won't go form. But I want you to trust God. Believe God. God has given all of us a measure of faith. And I believe, not that, declare the work of the Lord. We got to keep the faith. Hold on. A chain is coming. And I want to encourage every preacher, every pastor to hear me. Encourage your members. Encourage the saints. Let them know. The greatest he that's in you, the he is in the world. We got the greatest on the inside. We know some might not have the faith that you have, but you hold on until your change has come. Look at your faith, for God knows who you are. He knows your name. The songwriter said, he knows my name. He knows who we are. God don't have to look for you. He knows who you are. Look at your faith. Don't doubt God. Don't be scared to leave home. I know we got to uh, do what the Lord the Lord said. When we do out of obedience, but we still got to trust God to believe God will honor our faith. We thank God for our Bishop, Bishop Morrison allowing us to the whole of our church of God to still connect with one another to have service. It's not your location, it's your foundation. Some might not be in service this morning at your home church, but we are one in the body of Christ. And the scripture says, too, we come to the union of the faith. We can work this thing together. We can encourage one another together. We can make it together. Lift one another up. Encourage one another. Let them know that we're going to make it do it. All things are impossible. If the who that just believe. Look at your faith. Faith over fear. And God will bless you. Amen. And we can look back and say, look at the Lord have done. Amen. This too will pass. Amen. It may look dark now. We may do for the night. But joy is coming in the morning. After a while, the sun going to shine. Amen, amen. Go live your day of life. Amen, amen. God has to give you a spirit of fear and the love and the power of sound mind. Amen. It's the devil's job to steal your joy, steal your victory. But you have faith and power on the enemy and the world can't do you no harm. Look at your faith. Because there's faith over fear. Amen and amen. Amen. God is good to us. We thank God for this opportunity. We appreciate the Lord blessing us on this day. Listen, we 
we generally will be in our Southern District Union, but we have a service to let the people know that we have not shut down on God. They may shut the, the door, doors down, but we haven't shut down on God. We want all the saints to know together. Let's come to unify one another. And let's, let, let's show love for our fellow man. God bless you. And may I like to say to all the pastors, amen. Uh, we thank God for you uh, being obedient. Amen. We pray that all members, amen, will uh, uh, take care of your pastor. On pastor over there, you know what you're supposed to do. Amen. Give your offering, your tithe and offering to your local church. Amen. Amen. The church might be closed, but the church still might be operating. Amen. Amen. I don't hear no amen, but that's, that's the truth. Amen. Amen. But you still got to take care of your local church. Amen. The church might be closed. Amen. Don't take your tithe and offering. Amen. That's something that you don't need to buy. Amen. Make sure you give your money to the house of God. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Amen. And pray be the name of the Lord. Amen. We thank God. At this time, we're we going to pray for the people and that, that God will keep them in courage. Amen. That you look at your faith and you continue in the faith and God will continue to bless you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the word of God. We come to encourage everyone today to hear my voice and want to see me, God. I pray to God that keep the faith. Look at their faith. God. Don't let nothing separate them from the love of Christ. Those things may be coming in this land, but God, you're going to take care of your own. Bless us, God, in the name of Jesus. God, bless everyone to hear me, God. Everyone that see me, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, this weeks and days to come, it's going to get better for the saints of God. We're going to touch and agree that it shall be done in Jesus' name. Everybody say praise the Lord. God bless you. Have a good day. God bless you.